So today we're talking about rig and ballyhoo for offshore trolling. And our goal for the day is that we want to get this guy to swim just like he did when he was alive. We don't want him spinning. We don't want him laying on his side. We want his tail to swim naturally. And in addition to that, we're going to present a product that Troll True offers to improve your bait presentation. And so with that, let's dive right in. So one of the keys to having good baits is starting with good bait. Uh, I've been using Bait Masters for a while now, had good success with that. If you've been using something different and having success with that, that's great. Uh, some of the things that you want to look for as you're choosing your baits, uh, you want to make sure that the eyes are good and clear, there's a good orange tip on the beaks, that the tails are in good shape, there's not a lot of blood in the package, there's not a lot of frost in the package. All those are indicative of good fresh bait. And if you start with good fresh bait, you improve the likelihood that you're going to end up with well running baits. So once you've started with fresh bait, the next thing that you need to do is prep the bait. And so there's several things that you want to do as you're prepping your bait. All of them are intended to make sure that your bait, there's nothing that keeps this bait from swimming naturally. And so there's several things that we want to do. One is that we want to remove all, everything that was on the inside of the fish, everything that was in the digestive tract. We want to make sure that we remove that and, and rinse that fish very well and get them good and clean. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is we, we want to remove these fins. Um, there's an opportunity that those fins can, can get disfigured and cause the, the bait to spin. So we want to go ahead and just remove those off of the fish so that that doesn't become a problem for us. And so we've got those removed. Okay, and then the next thing that we want to do is that we want to remove, remove his eyes. Again, the longer that fish swims in the water, uh, the opportunity for those eyes to, to become disfigured and cause that fish not to swim in a natural way. Okay, and one of the other things that we want to do is, is again, we want this fish to swim naturally. Okay, and so him swimming like a snake is not swimming naturally. And so what we want to do is that we want to loosen this meat starting about right here and limber up that tail so that he can swim naturally. And so we want to give some flexure to it, make sure that bait swims naturally, rinse him off a little bit there um, so, that, so that he's good and, good and limber. Okay, and so what we also have here is we've got a conventional pin rig. Um, we're starting with an 8 aught Mustad hook. Uh, we've got a piece of 9 inch or number 9 stainless steel wire we're using as our pin. Um, some copper rigging wire that we've wrapped onto the eye of the hook. And 80 pound uh, liter material, about, about 6 feet of that. And so this is a conventional, conventional pin rig. And so what we want to do here is that we want to we want to rig this bait onto this pin rig. And so one of the first things that we're going to do is we're going to we're going to measure this out and see exactly where we want this hook to come out. And then we're going to take the barb of that hook and we're going to use that to kind of get us a placeholder here so we know where it is that we want to come out. Okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up this gill plate, one side or the other, and we're going to feed this number eight hook down through the body of the ballyhoo. Okay, and we're going to kind of work that in there nice and easy. Takes a little looking. Okay, and then we're going to feel for the point of that hook where we, where we marked it. And we're going to get that thing to come out right where we marked it. So there we go. And then we're going to feed the eye of that hook down there until we get that hook positioned just how we want it in that bait. And then we're going to take this pin and we're going to pierce it through both of his lips, his upper and lower lip. And we want that hook, we want that pin to come out right in the center of that ballyhoo. And so that looks that looks pre pretty good. Okay. Put that back in there. 
Okay? And so now we've got that on there. We've got the hook coming out right. Got the copper rigging wire. We're going to feed that back through his eye. Kind of close up that gill plate. Run it through there a time or two. Pull in nice and snug, not too snug. Okay, and next we're going to go behind this pin, wrap them a time or two, get that nice and tight there. And then next, on the bottom of his beak, there's a nice little trough down there, and that's where we want that leader material to run. And so we're going to use this copper rigging wire to wrap around there. Hopefully you can see that to make that leader material lay right there in that trough in his beak. And we're gonna wrap that up good and tight. Okay, get that hook to lay in there just like we want it. Okay, and so now we've got that bait on there. Okay, and one of the things, it's very, very important how this, uh, the head of this ballyhoo uh, positions itself on this pin, okay? Because what we want is we want that ballyhoo to be pulled by this pin. We don't want any pressure where this hook comes out of his body. Uh, what, if that happens, what's gonna happen is it's gonna bow that ballyhoo and he's gonna spin. And so that's not what we want. We want him to be pulled by this pin that we've uh, positioned in the front of his head. And so that looks pretty good there. So we've started with a good fresh bait. We've used a conventional pin rig to rig this ballyhoo. There's no chin weight uh, on this ballyhoo, and so he's good and tight uh, and ready to go. And so if you've had good success with this presentation and, and your baits are running good, that's great. Um, but what I'd like to show you today is a product that Troll True offers that can improve your bait presentation. Um, it's a, a lead shroud fits over the head of the ballyhoo. There's a, a keel weight there that causes that ballyhoo to, to run straight up and down, troll just like he was when he was alive. And uh, let me show you how this uh, fits on this ballyhoo. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this leader material, thread it through the hole in the nose of the lure, draw it up tight, and then it slides into position over the head of the ballyhoo. And the pin rides up and, and fits up in the end of the slot so that it holds it on there nice and tight uh, and secures that, secures that bait fish in that lure. So he's gonna run straight up and down, just like, he, just like we uh, originally wanted to start out where that bait trolls in a, in a natural presentation. Uh, several things that happen here. One is the shroud is over the head of the bait, uh, continues to keep water from infiltrating into the bait, washing it out, allows you to troll at higher speeds, and just presents that bait in, a, in, a, in the most natural presentation.